Hi everyone, it's Nat from Beast Mode Gaming and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use an Xbox One controller to control games on your iPhone. So stick around if you want to find out how to do that. It's really easy, you don't need any extra apps or anything. Um, you are going to need a couple of things, an iPhone or an iOS device, so this will work on the iPad with iOS 13 or above. It only works, uh, it was only integrated with 13 or above. Also, your Xbox One controller needs to be able to be a Bluetooth compatible controller. So basically the older models, the really early ones were only Wi-Fi. Um, and you can tell the difference because on the Xbox controller, if I hold it up there for you to see, you'll see that there's a smooth transition between the housing and the area that encases the home button. That's the newer ones. The older ones, there are two different sections. You'll quickly find out when you try and do it and it won't work, but most of the, I mean, most of the newer uh, Xbox One controllers work fine. So you need iOS 13 or above, you need a Bluetooth controller, and you need, um, it doesn't work with every game. There are certain uh, set games called MFI games and um, these are compatible. So this will, I mean, this will kind of work um, with, I think I'm pretty sure it'll work with a PlayStation 4 controller as well. Um, and then, so I'll leave the link to these MFI games. These are games on iOS um, that support the use of a controller. Okay, so here is how you connect it. It's really easy. All you do is you go to your iPhone and you go to settings and then what we want to do is go to the Bluetooth and then you're simply going to hold down the home button until it starts flashing like you'd normally turn on your Xbox controller. Then we're going to hold down the pairing button which is up on the top until the home button starts flashing a bit more quickly. Then it should just pop up there, you'll see Xbox wireless controller. Sometimes this can be a bit buggy and if you're not seeing it straight away, I suggest turning the Bluetooth off on your phone and back on again. Sometimes repairing it, just trying a couple of times until you see that appear there. So now that is um, all ready to go. Now I need to fire up an MFI compatible game. So I've got this really old school iOS game here uh, called Jetpack Joyride that I used to play um, on my really old iPhone. I haven't played this in ages. And let me see whether this works with the Xbox controller. So I'm going to start the game and I should be able to. There we go. So I'm this is a really simple, um, basically one um, one input game here. So um, I think they've updated this game, so it's it's a lot cooler. But I mean, this is really this is really great for console gamers who just want to play some games on their iPhone, their iOS device, but they don't really like the whole touch touching on the screen, and this means you don't have to be so close to the screen as well. So this is one thing like that's really put me off with mobile gaming, is that because I'm a console gamer. Um, I, I really am used to, it's really familiar for me, um, to be using a, uh, controller. Um, and it's really, it seems really difficult and really foreign for me to be, um, using the touch sort of controls, especially with games with lots of inputs. So I'm having a lot more fun already playing this game with a controller than, than I do just with the iPhone in my hand. So this can be fun. I mean, it's a little bit gimmicky. You don't absolutely need it, but um, you know, I I have a lot of fun playing it with. It. It's kind of a novelty, um, and there's absolutely zero lag. Um, I'm looking at my iPhone screen. That there is a bit of lag between my iPhone screen and the computer screen that I have it hooked up to there. That's why I'm looking down directly at my iPhone. Um, but there's basically zero lag. So I'm really interested to try this out uh, with some other MFI games. And um, let me just, I kind of want to keep playing this now. I'm playing it. There we go. Just, just past the personal best. 
um, but you can just go into Google and search for MFI games. Let me just finish this for the moment. And if I open up Google here and type in um, MFI games, um, you'll see here that it, it just shows you up the top here. So there's a, a Call of Duty game. There's a Grand Theft Auto game. Um, so I'm really keen now that I've got this working to grab some of these games. And on this website here as well, uh, it's got a list of the free games. Now you won't be at this. This apparently does work with Fortnite, but currently um, Fortnite is not available on the Android or the iOS stores um, because of a business dispute between Epic Games and Apple. So I'm keeping my eye out on that one. Um, I'm sure if you're a Fortnite player or if you keep up with gaming news that that's popped up on your radar already. But look at all these games. There's Sonic games, boxing games. Uh, Raymond Adventures um, is, a is a great one. I really like Raymond. Um, and there's a free and a paid version of that one. So I'm going to... Um, oh, it's a Street Fighter game. Nice. I'm going to try some of these out. Maybe I'll do some reviews of some of these MFR games and pop them on the channel here. If you have any requests for any of these games, pop a comment in there. And if you haven't done already, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment um, on the video and just to say hello. And this is a really new channel for me. So anything like that will really help me out. So that's how you do it. Really simple, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm going to end this video just by giving you some footage of this game, old school iOS game, which has been updated and is still a lot of fun to play. This is Jetpack Joyride. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.